Hi folks, um, we're going to restore a single unit implant today with the Neodent GM system, the Grand Morris. So that connection has a platform that it's a 3-0 diameter across the top. And it also has a Morse taper with a platform switch. Huge benefit to us today. The other really nice thing, a convenience for this system versus maybe others in the industry, we have not only four, five, six different diameters of the implant itself with one platform on top. Okay, let's go over the restoration. So we start with a single unit implant. We have our healing abutment in place. We would simply remove that with our screwdriver. This happens to be what we call the Neo screwdriver. It's a star grip that grabs the top. We would remove our healing abutment or take that out and we would slide over our next model which has our tissue measurement gauge with a bunch of lines on the side. It's also threaded on the apical portion to place down into the implant. We turn until this is tight. We know it's fully engaged into our implant and then we read on the buckle those lines to see where the top of our gingiva is. This is huge for aesthetics, big help. Okay, moving on to the next step, we would remove that tissue measurement gauge and place a closed or open impression coping at the implant level. An option digitally is our scan body or scan flag. Okay, back to a conventional method. We make sure that our closed tray is down, we make sure that our screwdriver is tight, and then we can place our purple cap on top and it snaps into place, okay? Moving to our tray, always best to do a full tray, not a triple tray, not a quadrant. So we fill our whole tray with our impression material. Press this down obviously and we snap our impression. We wait for everything to set up. And when we pull this impression, our purple cap is going to be picked up in the impression itself, okay? When we transfer that information with our impression coping and we attach our analog, press this back into our impression and we send this guy off to the lab. We'll obviously need the opposing, a bite, a shade, and then we'll typically wait about two weeks and decide on a restoration such as maybe a tie base abutment, a titanium base. It's a stock component that's used by the laboratories and they can reverse engineer their zirconia crown. In this case, a monolithic. They would touch this crown up. They'd actually loot the two pieces together. There's a screw access hole in the top and they'll be able to deliver this one piece solution, in this case in the posterior, with the abutment and the crown looted together. So we would take our torque wrench, we make sure we see neodent on the top, the bar is facing us. We always make sure that this component on the end, the round component that accepts our screwdrivers, has the square on the bottom. Last thing, we have an arrow on the end of our driver. We want to make sure that the arrow is towards us, T to T, towards to tighten. If we have those three things set up properly, we are prepared to place our abutment down. We turn till this guy's nice and tight. We can drop our wrench on, and we're only tightening on our torque wrench to 20 newton centimeters. That's all we need with the Morse taper. And that's it, folks. Thank you.